In this video, I'm going to show you how to create beautiful PowerPoint presentations from beginning to end with ChatGPT. You're not going to need anything else, and it's only going to take you minutes to complete this whole process. I just spent hours creating a ChatGPT PowerPoint maker that will create PowerPoints from start to finish. You don't have to do anything else. All you have to do is follow these steps on ChatGPT. Anybody can do it, even if you have the free version. I'm going to walk you through all of the steps. I'm also going to give you the prompts that you need in order to build this using the feature that we're going to work with called Projects. Now, in return for the, all the hours that I put into this, if you could just kindly like this, make a comment, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and share it with a friend. This is going to be the easiest way to make PowerPoints from start to finish, and you won't need anything else. Just ChatGPT. So let's get started. In order to create the PowerPoint presentation maker, we are going to use a feature in ChatGPT called Projects. So on your left hand side of your ChatGPT interface, you'll see where it says projects and right underneath projects it says new project select new project and the first thing it's going to require is a project name so basically what projects are are chatbots you can instruct these projects to act or be like anything that you want and they're very good at completing full tasks for instance, I built a project that helps build prompts for me, basically a prompt engineer project so that whenever I'm struggling with creating a prompt, I'll go to my prompt engineer specialist and ask it to help me build that prompt, and it will. I've also created a project that focuses on making my LinkedIn posts more viral by adding characteristics of virality. And then one more example, I created a project that writes in my writing style. So now anytime I want ChatGPT to edit or write something on my behalf, I go to that project and that allows me to get to a final product more quickly. So in this case, what we're going to do is create a PowerPoint project. So first step, just name it. We're going to call it a PowerPoint maker. So now we're going to create project. Project folder has been created. And now all we need to do is go over to the three dots in the top right corner, select that, and hit Add Instructions. Now this is where we're going to basically program the chatbot to do what it is that we want it to do. So in this case, what I want it to do is help us create an outline of the PowerPoint that we want to build. And once we're good with the outline, then I want it to go through the process of creating each slide individually so that when we're happy with the slide, it will create that slide and then move on to the next slide. Now, this is where I'm going to save you hours because this took me hours to complete this part of the PowerPoint maker creating the actual instructions that work the best so that you can go from nothing to completed PowerPoint presentation. And as you can see, the instructions I put in here are pretty lengthy, but you don't have to worry because this is part of the video show notes that I'm going to share with you. You can just copy the full instruction and then paste it right into this instruction box and press save. And now we're done. Now we can test it. And I'm going to test it with create a ChatGPT 101 presentation. Now what you're going to see here is that it's going to ask some follow-up questions so that we get the presentation that we really want to create. And typically how I like to answer these questions is I'll just put a, a 1, a 2, 3, and a 4, and then just answer so that it knows. The first thing it's going to do is create the outline. Now, this is where we can make adjustments to the outline if we want to. You may already have built an outline 
if you have, you could just upload the outline to this PowerPoint maker and you won't even have to go through this process. But if you're creating a presentation from scratch and you have none of that, this is where you would go through and review each slide and instruct the PowerPoint maker to change anything on the presentation outline that you want to change. So I'm going to just instruct it to add a slide on the history of ChatGPT. And now, of course, we have nine slides. And there's the history of ChatGPT. And the project maker is now asking if I want to make slide one. I'll say yes. As it continues to follow the instructions is that it gives us a detail on the image it's proposing and the text that is going to be on it. Now, once again, if you want to edit any of this, if you have an idea of an image, or perhaps you have an image that you want to have on there that you're going to upload, you could just use the plus symbol here and add a photo or a file, uh, and then you could just have it upload into and just instruct it that you want that image in slide one, or you can make any adjustments to uh, both the text and the proposed image by asking it to make the change. And if you're happy, then you can just answer the, the next question. Would you like the image to show a person interacting with AI or just the digital AI interface? I'm going to go with the digital AI interface. Now it wants to ask, now it's asking me, do I want it to appear realistic looking or slightly futuristic? The cover image. Now, if I don't like anything on there, I can just ask it to recreate the image. Uh, maybe I would want the text a little bit larger um, or some other adjustments to it. But you can just instruct it. If you're happy with the image, you can just download. And now we're going to move on to slide two. And once again, it's going to give us the proposed image concept and the proposed text. And also just asking how we want this slide to visually show. I'm going to say chat conversation on screen. And again, you can see that it's creating a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is going to fit perfectly in a PowerPoint presentation. Once in a while, it ends up creating a square image instead. You can just then instruct it to create a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and it will recreate that image, but in that length. All right, there's image number two. That looks good. Now we're going to continue this process until we're done so that I can show you the final part. All right, now all my slides are done. And all I have to do is go to each slide, download the slide, and bring it all over to PowerPoint. And then once we bring it over to PowerPoint, all we have to do is just insert a new slide and the image for each slide. Hit present, we can take a look at it. And there we go. PowerPoint is done. Just like that. We've completed the PowerPoint using ChatGPT from start to finish. Now, I don't know about you, but these presentations can take a long time to create. You are going to save hours with this process. So once again, if you want the instructions, they are in the show notes. And please, if you got any value out of this, this takes me hours to create. So please like it, please comment, please subscribe, and please share with others. Thanks again, and good luck. I look forward to hearing how it went for you.